We are back in the Beaver Creek Chop House. You are watching the Opera Show. Mark Sassy here with Joe Griffith, the bartender. So we got a chance to talk to you last week about some of the great cocktails that you have here at the Chop House. One of them was uh, a key lime pie margarita, and you also had a chocolate orange old fashioned. Is that right? Uh, it's a martini. Key lime martini. pie martini. Mar martini. Actually. But I'm liking what we're seeing here today, though. I'm a big fan of Bloody Marys, and you also have a great variation of a greyhound called the Hound Dog. So why don't you get right into it? Let's see what you're mixing up today. Uh, thanks, Mark. So the first drink we're going to make here is what our Hound Dog. So the base for that is going to be the Deep Eddy Grapefruit Vodka. Um, it's delicious. It's dangerously delicious, actually. It's made by uh, Deep Eddy of Austin. They have a lot of different good flavors. So we're going to use that. Let's stick this under here. We're also going to use fresh squeezed grapefruit juice. We squeeze it almost every single day. It's awesome. We use root Texas Ruby Red grapefruits. Okay. Stick that in there. Get a good angle. Oh, yeah. One more of those. Squeeze. Awesome. And I add a little grapefruit bitters to it. Lots of grapefruit in there. Lots of grapefruit. And we're going to garnish it with the grapefruit, the grapefruit of course. <laughs> so this drink is fantastic. You get a lot of nutrients in there, just like you do with the bloody that we're about to make. It's awesome. They're great morning drinks, afternoon drinks. So next we're going to... Hound dog. Hound dog here okay. at the Chop House. Do this one. This is, I'm psyched for this. All right. So our Bloody Mary mix has about... 15 different ingredients or so. I can't tell you what. You got to come and taste it to find out. You can try and tell me what's in it. Uh, so we're going to start with that base right here. We make our own pepper vodka. We infuse it. You can see right here on this jar that we have our pepper infusion. We let that sit for four to five days. The pepper vodka is going to give your bloody a nice kick. So we're going to pour that in there. Nice. And a little bit of ice. Garnish that sucker with olives. Smiley celery. face olives. Lemon, lime, and if you're getting the loaded bloody, which is what we're doing right now, you're going to also add our jalapeno brown sugar bacon. It's the house favorite. I mean, here you go, Mark. Come on. Come on. You know you want to eat it. <laughs> oh, my God. Right? That's awesome, right? Best bacon I've ever had. We're going to add a couple shrimp. I put two. A loaded would come with one. You can add oh however God. many you want. And you can also add a sidecar of beer, quartz light, fat tire, whichever one you want really for a few bucks extra too. Look at that thing, it's a meal. You're coming off the mountain, if we're busy, it's perfect, that's a perfect appetizer right there for any meal. Appetizer, that's a meal for some people. What I would do is get that and I would get a side of bacon and shrimp on top of it. Absolutely, and then you're good to go. <laughs> okay, the hound dog. This is the Loaded Bloody, so Joe, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Mark. Come up to the Chop House, check out the great drinks, talk to Joe, talk to the rest of the crew. It's a great crew at the Beaver Creek Chop House. We're taking a break from the Opera Show. We're going to be talking about summertime activities here when we come back.